On this slide, uh, I want to uh, practice what I preach as far as rules of five to seven variations on the theme. And one more time, sort of contrast my hexagon model with the balanced scorecard or the balanced scorecard pyramid that you just have seen. Side one of the hexagon is actually very ambitious. <clears throat> Tied up in that would be educating the employees module by module by module or video clip brick by brick, meme by meme, the mission, the vision, the values, the strategy, and the strategy map. Uh, but they're all shaped by specifically uh, the number one historic niche of customers that a branch might have and then the number two niche and so on. Uh, all of these business ideas are great, quote, best practices, but they're in a vacuum. They don't tell you who your number one most historic profitable niche and the customers in that niche are and or what the service value equation is specifically for that niche. So it's the customer nicheonomics, the service value equation that really gives power to all these general ideas. Once we have niche centricity uh, driving all these things above, then the, the kind of numbers that we generate as far as uh, uh, our service metrics, our, our financial byproduct numbers, uh, our, our uh, mastery, uh, learn and earn certifications, our public praisings, etc. They're all tuned by and focused around these, these, these niche-centric goals. Um, otherwise, the balanced scorecard is just another set of sort of best practices and pretty cumbersome at that. Um, it's not going to give you the customer value strategic focus that, that my whole um, uh, uh, orientation has been in this this video clip series. I will I will notice though that that the balanced scorecard puts you know a one fourth emphasis at least from a diagram viewpoint on change or innovation management, and uh, this is uh, the whole idea of change management and how good have we been at implementing big changes as opposed to little trivial adapt adaptive changes. Um, is going to be addressed in the next sec ne next section. But before we close, I do want to uh, uh, tip my hat to uh, uh, the concept of, of, of understanding and managing much better uh, our corporate culture. So there'll be a few slides on that. Thanks.